Okay, audio seems pretty fine. So, uh, we just had like the, what is it called? The Summerfest or something like that, showcasing games. And this is Agent 64 Spies Never Die. It's uh, early access. This is an alpha demo available for you and me to, you know, try out. Um, can I... Yes, we're gonna clear it. I try to empty running. It'd be good. So, All right. Options. Uh, um, let's turn that one down a little bit. See if that's. There we go. So, we have a lot of. Once I'm using mouse and keyboard for this one and for a reason. So up to eight weapons, some gadgets, undefined numbers. Interact, reload. Uh, for many, alright. Um what do you said you will see? They are pretty standard. Nice. Very limited settings, but you have a uh, borderless and you can have basic on off, uh, sharper image or less sharper image. Um, can I do? Yeah, you can. All right, so you should be able to do ultra wide screen. Not gonna try that right now, but it should work. It looks like. 21 by 9 a little some kind of ultra widescreen support um, let's get into game and turn this one on and off to see you know if you like that or not so obviously if you haven't already figured it out this is a um, very very golden eye influenced game we're gonna just start it on the easier trying to you know get a feel for the game it's short, this demo, we might redo it. Okay, that was loud. Holy... Why is it... No, we're gonna do this instead. Let's do that. That's a... Insane... Really? Well, no, let's let's keep it. Well, mm, point two. Seems to be very, very uh, dynamic audio levels there, so. Oof. Starting here. So, first off, you have. You can see the gun, there's a bit of floating. This is the tutorial, so you can't aim or anything, there's no crosshair. Um, very golden eye looky graphic here, but sharper. Less detail, maybe. And they are heavy auto aim, like in, you know, the original golden eye. And perfect dark for that matter. Let's turn on the, the effects here. Lens distortion. Guessing making making it warping of the visuals here. Glass effects just you know by the look of this if I were just looking it looks like a less impressive golden eye um quality wise here. Obviously the textures are higher resolution here but Quality of them seems uh, not on par like with the rare ones. And the explosions are simpler. Audio, you, you know, NOS. It, it resembles a lot of the original one, but it just doesn't, you know, scream that uh, rare budget or rare feel, but it fits. Uh, this is a one man project for all I know. 
let's turn on the other settings here and this is an alpha so a lot of things can change but you know there's nothing sticking out bad or good right now um this crt effect yeah seems um, like an uh, chromatic blurry filter um doesn't really to me resemble crt like crt i'm guessing they are going for TV, they're emulating the feel of a TV, not CRT in general, because CRT monitors, they were sharp as freaking hell, you know, if you hit a good resolution, they were not blurry. CRT monitors were really nice and sharp, great contrast, they were not fuzzy or distortion like this. I'm thinking CRT are meant to emulate the lower resolution televisions, you know. Uh, so... But to me, this is, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't like it. It's there. It's, you know, for you to try. Not. Uh, so, prefer this one. This looks more like a CRT monitor to me. I like the gun movement, how it looks. But I do miss a crosser. We are going to go into more details as we move forward here. But, you know, it has a very much a golden eye feel updated with, you know, mouse and keyboard. Uh, and, you know, it's not bad for a single man project. I do have some personal opinions about this. I'm going to go into. And again, very much my personal opinions very simplistic graphic i think looking at like perfect dark you can see that you know the environment in the like the first level are all obviously a lot crazy higher so it really feels um, sad to say you know when it is it's a it's a good job for one man person but uh and it's alpha but you know if this is the starting level i would try to do better with the you know the backgrounds also uh, like, I don't think there were any like city backgrounds in Golden Eyes, but I always felt that the backgrounds were more fitting here. It sticks out kind of a bit. Make maybe add fog or something, some classic fog, cover up it, and then it would fit, you know, perfectly fine. Uh, also, so far the levels here it seems. Uh, Let's wait with that. We're gonna go into. Let's yeah, let's just show off a little bit more of the game before we go into it. So here is the first thing to point out. There is some kind of delay here, soft finesse, and I think I read someone telling that you know it's supposed to emulate the feel of the analog stick. I don't really. I think that's the thing that's necessary when you come close to edges you start moving i don't think that's necessary it just make it uh, more challenging uh, it would be just be better if you could here and then you could aim you know all over the screen you can just aim in a nice snappy way my personal opinion is this you don't have to agree with you don't have to like it and yeah, but I do really enjoy that. And someone pointed out in the forum that, you know, that they didn't like this. And it's not that I don't like it, but I don't, I don't see the point of it. It seems uh, weird. You have all of this graphically and everything here. And then suddenly there's just this poster here sticking out just on a, a wall like this. Also very blurry here. Um, it's alpha, but I think you know, adding a modern mode with some bump mapping isn't terrible for like textures. Personal opinions again. It has a lot of the feel of the you know, the classic Golden Eye game. So you know, perfect dark in many ways. But if you just really want that. It can offer a lot of that. Definitely. I have some 
I have, I have some things to say. I'm gonna say them no matter what people think. <laughs> Going forward. I do miss uh, the crouch. I think that could have been really fun here. And here you see the slow makes an artificial you know difficulty by not having by having this delay wait and um, again it it's supposedly to be emulating the golden eye slow movement with the stick and you know I get that I just don't really agree with that and I'm going to try to explain my reasoning behind it Going forward, I just wanted to show some pure gameplay first here. So this is your gadget man, stuff that you have. You have your guns. You have your... It's a little bit weak this one. This should be more powerful. I haven't shown it off, but... Also, it's very difficult to tell that there is a silencer, a suppressor on this one. reasonably foggy effect. I would like it to be more thick, but I think because it, the golden eye actually it it had really like thick fog effect. So when you know you blew up too much it became really difficult to even see. I enjoyed it. if they are going for you know the classic feel I think that is you know something really nice. Obviously it's a lot of clipping here. Could be tweaked for the models. Or just have the models fade away like they did in the original after like 10, 5, 10 seconds or something like that. I just have the models fade. It's not a bad impression, but there are. Yeah, I have I have things to say and I would wouldn't mind the crouch button. To make, you know, the old classic game get, you know, a little bit of a more of a modern feel. Not modern feel, but you know, add some stuff because crouch should. You could crouch even in Golden Hour, so it's not that it's a modern feature. Uh, because coming down the stairs, if you want to be sneaky and do some, you know, snipe shot, crouching is definitely something I would have wanted to do on that place. And a crosshair, I would definitely like crosshair just so I can get better bearing on you know because if i'm aiming here you can see the gun is pointing at the person but this is where my crosser it's uh quite a huge distance uh, far off no i'm gonna try something um maybe i can show you this once what i'm trying I'm just gonna try to be quick about this. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Come on. Here it is. See what's going to happen here. Working. Do I have to configure it? Uh, setting. Oh no, it's working. My bad. Get back to the. Oh, okay. So it's not. Okay, so that's the menu. Let's. I'm just gonna try something here. Oh, okay. Find something real quicky. and that is the same all right so um i'm gonna try to show this to you guys see if we can do there you go you can see the red thing here that's my custom gold line crosshair that i used when played the xbox 360 leaked version with the uh, senya emulator and mouse hook mouse hook injection 
Again, this is much more fun. Just makes it much more easier. The problem obviously is that if I'm aiming, I have two crosshairs. Uh, but yeah, I just really think that, you know, you could take the old, like an old style crosshair and add it as an option for the player to choose how to play. If they want to play like this, they, you know, should be able. It really is nice. But let's get into a few points. Firstly, this limitation artificial is not fun. You can have this aiming. Definitely. I have no problem with it. But make it snappy. I don't think you sh this should be available as an option. Because that will give people... Uh, that wants that field to get, you know, the bad feeling of the, you know, GoLine era. GoLine was a great game, but it was limited due to hardware. Not, you know, because the game, the developers wanted the game to be like it was. The N64 had one stick. They were limited to having this being. And, yeah. So having this at the nice, but have the options to be it locked so you don't move I think and also have an option to let it be floaty or not um, because a game like this having custom 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 you know custom ability is going to be a huge thing to reach out to a large audience by having oh, this limited option and having a crosshair on off option also is really going to limit the customer base and if you're fine with that, if that's, this is just a passion, personal project, you may, you're pretty much making this game on your free time for yourself. Kudos. Amazing. Go for it. But if you actually want this game to, you know, to reach a broad audience, to cover people, uh, different ages and play style, with the simplicity of it, option is going to be key here. So have an on-off option for the crosser have an on-off option for this, you know, being locked in and movement, have an on-off toggle for the, you know, smoothy floaty feeling, because that will be, increase the player base immensely, really, really going to enhance it immensely. And I definitely feel that when you have this outside dark shot, this looks not good. So add like thick fog feeling, kind of like, you know, like, look at the golden eye again, that you are in, uh, you know, inspired by. The kind of fog that um, blowing up barons and stuff like that have. And add, like, that type of classic fog style outside to mask this one. Um, I think that would be really nice. And a game like this, actually, you know, I think it would... Is it it? Very simple graphic. Having real-time, like, shadow or lightning... As an option, um, if it were possible, I don't think if it's possible in the Unity engine, would absolutely be a badass thing, because that would add a lot of like dynamic to the the simplistic scene um, without having to do a lot of work. But I don't think it's possible with Unity. This is just, you know, if it would have been a different engine. But yeah, adding options definitely, and also have really would add like a crouch it was available in the gold line so it's not that this crouch is a modern thing no 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 it was available so having a crouch definitely uh, gold line did not have a jump so you can make your game work without jumping this just makes it so much easier we just first off to aim if you want and have a have an option to turn on or off the auto aim, but it's so much better to have the crosser just so it, that you can quickly get this on the right place. And I would also work on lotions and the structurability. I do, you know, since I played all night, all night, you know, this. It's, it's fun to me, this just explosion, but, you know, tweak it, maybe add some more animations and stuff going forward. Here is also again where a crouch would be really beneficial. 
and this is definitely again you know it's so much to you know go lie i like it uh Brad is crazy on this one though and also the enemies can sometimes fire through walls and that was not a thing of the golden eye game so i would try to tweak that because they could fire sometimes it happened in golden eye but i would remove that they can be here and they can shoot through this thing i should try to look into that and try to you know against that from happening because that was just you know probably a limitation of the n64 i'm sure that if rare didn't you know have the enemies be able to shoot two walls on purpose i would definitely look into that that is just an annoyance um it's not a cool feature and again i my personal opinion definitely is that if you want a broader range to this, add a mode for the textures, make them if possible more modern feeling and have bump mapping as an option. So you can toggle this look or a little bit more sharper, you know, 3D feeling textures like in the Xbox 360 rem remake, the remaster, I guess it is more a remaster. Because that remaster is definitely a badass when it comes to capturing the old feel of the N64 game in a glorious Xbox 360 feeling. Uh, it still feels classic, it still feels retro, it still has everything, but it has the dual stick uh, aiming and stuff like that. It's more, more modernized. It's a perfect way. Because, you know, the way GoLine are, are due to limitations, not visions of the, you know, of the rare team so i would definitely add some more options going down the line smarter ai uh, the ai in golden eye actually could open doors and come after you um so and this looks even with the ssao i guess it looks very sharp here um because to my knowledge, this one should add dust. It's a very soft shadow. Should fun with a little bit more of a SSAO feeling to this sharp edge right there. Very minor the shadow applied. Thicker shadow contact contact shadow there. Yeah. Nothing wrong, you know, with going for retro, but you get to also re remember that. You know, this was like the 64 was pretty much the first console that truly went all the way in with 3D, so. The 3D does not stack up as good as in, uh, you know, later consoles. And I think this is true if you look at the Nintendo Entertainment System versus the Super Nintendo. The Super Nintendo, they stack up real nice. But, uh, you know, you do the, the Nintendo stuff isn't really, you know, holding up as well when it comes graphically. Like, if you look at Super Mario Brothers for the Nintendo, it definitely isn't as bad as, as Super Mario World. Super Mario World, to this day, it's still, you know, it's really great. It doesn't read, need a remaster or anything. Uh, but Super Mario Brothers, it got a remake, remaster, no, remake more. Yes. You could probably say remaster since it has the same, like, core mechanic. But just swapped out textures and audio. But yeah, it you know it got that one because obviously it and it improves it immensely when it comes graphically uh, in a good way. The, because that was that you know 
the Nintendo Entertainment System and the NES, it had a lot of limitations graphically wise. So, alright, um, this is also a weird thing I'm gonna tell you. So, every time you get a new gun, here you can see I have two guns. This is a silenced, this is without the silencer. Uh, this should just be press the same key to swap silencer on and off. I don't know why they seem to use different ammunition type because they didn't use different ammo type in uh, like the original Goliath. They, they use the same, you know, ammunition a lot. If it's a different gun, I should, I would have, you know, if it's a different gun and not just with the silencer on off. I, I would, uh, you know, tweak the gun model more. But yeah, the, you know, the NAS, you know, it was a lot of limitation there. And the same goes for N64. Uh, it's a lot of, a lot of limitations that cause developers, you know, having to do the games a certain way. Did I get the blue keycard? Yeah, I did. So, like, retro isn't, to me, I don't feel that, you know, being retro needs to emulate the weakness of the older ones, but more of getting the feel of the games and then adding, you know, adding modern styled, uh, modern styled, you know, enhancements, if it is to graphic in some ways. Or if it is to um, like game mechanics, but keeping the to me retro is mostly about keeping the feel and not about just not like getting hmm, and not just getting you know everything that are bad limitations of the old ones also into the game. Yeah, so when you pick. So first you have this one and you have this one. That's one and that's two. And then you get this one. That's number three. Now on your keyboard here. And then when you pick up this one. For some reason. This is number two. Now this is number three. And this gun is number four. Um, that's not good. It should always be fixed slot. Because... Uh, this is going to be annoying as hell as a player, uh, especially on keyboard. If you, you know, you you muscle memory with that. Okay, so I get my pistol on number two, get my slap on number melee on number one, I get my UC on number three. Then you pick up a gun and now wait, what? This is number four? It was number two. Wait, it, that's going to mess up your muscle memory. That's not good. And in a game like this, I think that the weapon wheel could be a really nice option also. Bad. Um, but yeah, I would definitely make this one and this one use the same ammo and just be press number two one again to swap between the modes with like the silencer on and off. And I know that a lot of people here are going that, you know, oh, Crosser, you know, it didn't go like didn't have that. And, you know, we want that old feeling and plugginess. We want that feeling. And all I'm saying is that reach a broader audience, have options. Have an option for Crosser. Have an option for snappy look. Have an option to lock, not having it move. Have, uh, you know, have Crouch being... Unbind, unbound by default, but let you bind a key to crouch. So when I had crouch, um, maybe add some advanced, more modern, like bump mapping as an option. Uh, if you want a broader range, if this is just your passion project, keep it as it is, but it's going to be uh, more of a limited, you know, player base. Nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong at all with that. And the original also had lean when you were aiming, uh, which I think would be fun. 
if you when you are aiming have you do a quick lean i really think that would be fun and again why not have an options to be modern to have a modern lean key so you can combine just leaning with that option is definitely going to be the key thing here to how how many players that you're going to reach with this game and what you're going for it's definitely an interesting game and depending on the price and everything uh, might be something I'm keeping an eye on or getting when it coming up i'm not going to be actively closely looking hardcore at this yes i think it's a really fun do 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 Successful open ventilation has success exit ground escape power. Okay. So tab brings up like this menu. I think it would be more fun if tab only showed your objective. So you can tab quickly to show this and not bring up this menu. Escape is this menu. And then have tab just be showing your mission objectives. Uh, I think that would be in the fun. Uh, locked. I came that way, right? I walked here. This way. Uh, escape the tower. Oh, do I? Oh, okay. I just walk here. Okay. Very Gunai style looking there. Okay. But yeah, you know, it's very lot of potential, but I just feel that it, uh, you know, adding a little bit of modern flair to it isn't a bad thing. My personal, personal, personal opinion here. Um, did we try to see if so three civilian hostages is the only difference here. Let's try just, just for fun, go here and see what happens. Um, yeah, a lot of potential, but I would add a lot of more custom ability to reach a larger audience. And definitely, you know, with having the crosser on, uh, I think you, sh you, you could have like an auto aim toggle, or it could just be... That when you activate the crosser, it deactivates auto aim also at the same time. I don't think you need to have the tutorial. You could just allow, I guess. Maybe the tutorial are only in agent mode, so that's fine. And th this crosser needs to be customized. This is way too big. Ooh, this is a huge one. Have it customizable of colors and size and maybe even shapes. Uh, this is too crazy. Absolutely insane looking. <laughs> like what? Ooh <laughs> But you see, just having the crosshair as a point to where you aim, you know, is really nice. You can have all, like, even this can have like a spread. And then you have to aim for accuracy. That would still, you know, employ this mechanic. Make people want to use this one, even with the crosshair. So when you aim, it's much more spread. And this one becomes like a, you know, super focus when you aim down sight. And having the SMG... Yeah, right, it's on number three because I haven't picked up the other gun. Again, this having this super high spread and then a little bit less spread when you aim. 
make both of these options available. My again, this is personal opinions. It's not, you know, objectively this. You have to do this, or you have to like this. And again, definitely, I can. I don't have anything against. Uh, this bikini poster. It's just that in this place it feels out of place. It sticks out. When you're coming around everything here, it just sticks out. Um, like if you do like a, like in the bathroom, that this could fit on the you know some of the walls or in like a break room, but not like just hanging like here and. Um, hard to tell what it's supposed to be it looks like it's some kind of poster uh, or like several like uh, picture from like a vacation so <laughs> and again crouching uh, like the original hand would be really fine here so you can like get a better view and do some nice uh, silence like sniping Because then you could, you know, do this in a, in a more like nice way. It was really difficult trying to snipe here because I had to go down so far that they saw me before I could, uh, you know, start shooting. And then since you have this floatiness, it kind of negated me from using it. I just wanted to... I had to pretty much resource to the auto aim, so I think it would actually be beneficial to, you know, have an option to remove the floatiness feeling here. Having crouch and having the snappier feel to this and that it's actually going to help this game. It's going to make like the sneakiness like the um, classic like agents games has. It's going to make it that more of a viable options. Uh, more people are going to want to use that since that's going to work better since you don't have to be in the line of sight when going down to through all of the stash and everything. So yeah. Again as an option not as a forced thing. But that, that, again, all these options talk here, that is just if you want to reach a larger audience. This is a passion project, uh, keep everything as it is, perfectly fine. And since the guys are clipping so much, I would have um, like 10 seconds or 30 seconds uh, as an option again, I guess. But And then they just sinking down into the floor, disappearing like in the original. It looks better, I feel, if they were just going to just slowly disappear then flying forever into the wall. So the red crosser that I'm using is a custom desktop logo and this is a logo that I found. I think I searched for crosser or something like that. I don't even remember it's been so long since I found it. Again, this, due to this happening, I couldn't shoot that guy, so uh, have it as an option, so 
it would it would overall just be more fun. And I would think that that would actually add to the gameplay and not, uh, you know, remove anything from that. difficult here. Um, he's a little bit less balanced than uh, difficult in the golden eye here. Something to work on. Not a terrible anything, but a little bit higher definitely on the difficulty scale. I'm probably gonna die. Seems like so. Okay, so that area is just locked out. Hmm. I liked that in Golnai, uh, you actually could, you know, you could even on like the easier difficulties, you could do all of the objectives. So the enemy with more health, you could try and you could, you know, research, have a look at everything. I don't, I'm not really a fan of the, you know, artificial locking of the doors upstairs. Um, I think you should be able to, even if it's not part of the missions, to, you know, go there. So you can, like, find and look at the hostages and what to do. is very much inspired by online that's cool that's fun i like this um, you know the mission style here so you you know i hope that it isn't taken as you know negativity it's uh, just feedback here. I still think there's a lot of fun potential here. Uh, just to reach like a broader audience and to you know have more fun with it. That's what I feel that the customability here would add. So. Okay, and he leads me. Okay, I don't. I don't think I need to wait for him. So, All right? Or may oh, maybe he does. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so he. Okay, I, okay. Now I get this. That's why there's no blue key card, right? Okay, yeah. That, okay, that's that's fine. 
I don't, I don't think you should lock it off the way you did. The door should just be locked instead of having, having like the bars. But yeah, 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 okay, now I get it. But the bars just looked weird, so just make the doors locked instead. In, is what I would prefer again. <laughs> oh man. Since uh, there were a lot of weirdness since the Trap Hang 2 video, again, what I'm saying is my personal thing here. It's not. I'm not telling you, you know, objectively what has to happen for a game to be good. It's what I think my personal would add to games or could make it better. Or in this case, reach a larger audience. Like, again, like this spread is nice in this mode, and then you have it being more exact in this mode, and add like maybe even a dot in the middle of this crosshair that you need to be able to customize. This is too big. The colors should be able to weak. That, that would mean that both of these modes has, you know, a purpose. A lot of potential here if you like what you see you know you can try this yourself you can make your own opinions and everything so uh, diffuse explosives all right i might try this uh, in uh, my own time i don't think you need to see it and also it leaves a little bit of you to explore on your own that's nice yeah, really interesting one. Uh, if I might add it to my wish list, so I you know if something happens to the game, it becomes out out of early access, uh, and depending on the price, you know, sure, I had fun. But again, if this is uh, something you want, I feel that if the developer here, the person here, wants to you know reach out to a broader audience, or you know make more money out of or something. Uh, add add a custom ability is definitely what I would you know look into. So there you could see custom desktop logo was what I used for my crosser, and then I uh, I had downloaded um, the crosser out of from somewhere of Google I don't know what homepage you know just uh, typing crosshair and uh, you know or old school or golden eye across and you will find it and you you can probably figure out custom desktop logo yourself if you want to i really felt that the cross i just added a lot to it but yeah let's summarize it so graphic style it's all right especially for a one-man project i would definitely add uh, later on if you have the time for modern bump mapping high resolution or higher quality textures as an options because looking at the Xbox 360, um, I think that is a perfect example how you take the old golden eye, really fuzzy, you know, and that had only one stick, and take it into the modern era. You have dual stick aiming, you have higher, you have the same feel of the textures, and everything, but they are crisper, they are looking more sharper. The skybox, you know, have higher quality, the backgrounds, have, so it still felt like the old retro go night but it was just modern and i love that because a lot of these things from the n64 era they don't hold up today because it was the first iteration just like the nintendo it was the first iteration many things does not hold up but the super nintendo when it was more refined those still holds up immensely great to this day in my opinion uh, so you know being this the first one uh, a lot of things don't hold up as good as, like, let's say, the PlayStation 2, the GameCube, where it was more refined. Mo many things there holds up much better today. Like Ocarina of Time, it's a classic, it's great, but the graphical, mm, and a lot of the mechanics, not as good. The Wind Waker, much more, you know, holding up a lot better. So, if you, I would add more customability. Let people play it the way that you intend to like this 
have that be the default settings. But have option for a crosser, have option to turn off the auto aim, have option for the floatiness of the aiming. And I would definitely love to be able to lock in so you can't aim, you know, the aim doesn't move your view in the same way. You could probably have, you know, when you enable crosser that it completely removes like uh, the aiming mode. You could just have that being shut off. So you have to choose between the old school, you know, feeling of heavy auto aim and being, you know, able to aim the way it is now in this demo and having just a crosser. Then you can't, you have to use that without auto aim and everything. That is just the way you aim. You can't get any different way to aim. Uh, otherwise, it's okay. It felt a little bit, you know, it can be tweaked here, but it's nothing that sticks out bad in anything. I like the sound of the the first gun really much. I enjoy that. Tweak the AI a little bit maybe and uh, stuff like that. But overall, really great impression. It's just custom ability to get a broader audience is my uh, general feeling and you can bump up the graphic as an option, again, in keeping the old school feel. And again, adding in a crosshair and stuff like that doesn't necessarily mean, or definitely adding the crouch. That is just a no-brainer. That's in the original GoldenEye game, so just add that. But yeah, having crosshair doesn't retract from retro feeling. Um, you know, the game was just limited when it was released. And then you can look at Xbox 3 is the version with the dual stick. Adding, you know, higher precise aiming in that game didn't retract from the retro feel. And uh, I know that you can play both the original GoldenEye with mouse and keyboard. I love that actually. I felt that that improved the game a lot. And uh, my favorite is the Xbox 360 leaked version of the GoldenEye with mouse and keyboard injector. And I can add, I uh, can. I could use that with my in controller. It's just the perfect combination. I get this, this great FPS aiming with a nice controller feeling all in all. So go check this one out. You can wishlist it. It's an early access. Uh, I'm going to wish it. I think I wishlist it just so I can, if something major happens, if it comes out of early access, to quick have a look. I'm not going to heavily focus on keeping an eye on this. Uh, but it's interesting. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. And hope if you haven't seen this, I hope this helped, you know, find this game. And stay tuned for uh, another video that I will be doing right away. So that's coming in a day or two. Another video for you to check out. A demo. Try also.